Welcome to the Statistic in ED YouTube channel. Today I want to show you a package that can greatly help you explore a data set quickly with very little effort. So when you get a new data set and you have very limited time to make yourself familiar with it, you may bring to the table your base R skills, you may be into data table to get some basic information about the data, you may be into the tidyverse, um, do some dplyr magic or create some plots using ggplot2 or some helper packages, but all of that takes time and you have to focus on some key aspects. So when you're really short on time to learn about the data set um, and investigate the data set, the data explorer package may be the way to go. It's created by Bokshun Kui, I'm not sure if I pronounced that name correctly, and we'll look into what it can do. So I'm loading the dplyr package just because of the data I want to be using. It's the Star Wars data, so we take a look in the console. Um, it's an interesting data set because it contains some, let's say, normal variables, and then it also contains some variables that um, hold lists. You see here at the end of the data set, films, vehicles, and starships are all lists. So it's an interesting data structure. To keep it simple for now, I limit the data to just the variables that are not nested lists, so I'm using the variables from name to species. So we do that here. I create that data set just called data, and now let's see how we can familiarize ourselves with this data set. I'm loading the data explorer package, and all I have to do is write the simple one-liner create report data, and what this does is it creates a markdown report. So you see here in the console how the markdown report is running through. It's all programmed in the background, so I just needed this one-liner to start this report, and this is what we get back. It's an HTML file which can hold interactive elements, and it's a data profiling report. So I had to write just one line of code to get this. We have this table of contents at the top, so it shows us what type of information we will find in here, and then we can scroll through to see um, and to learn more about our data. So we have some basic statistics um, about how many rows we have, which columns, which types of columns, and then a report on um, the data set, um, by bar charts, by types of columns, and also um, missings regarding observations and about the complete rows. So some key information in that bar plot. And then more about the data structure. It's a network visualization that shows us more about the data. So it's a bit interactive. We can highlight um, certain variables. There are not so many variables, so um, the font doesn't have to be increased. So this works well for more complex data sets when um, you can't read all the information at once. This network visualization that describes the variables, so that's simple enough in this case. We'll see a different example a bit later. Then, very useful, a missing data profile, um, which percentage of variables are missing. And also, the colors show different um, categories, bad, good, and OK. So we quickly get an idea which variables may be Problematic. So in this case, birth year, as we see here at the bottom in red, has more than half of the data missing. Then we get some um, histograms for univariate distributions for different variables, um, bar charts for the categorical variables for the most frequent categories. So that's a nice overview that we get here. Um, of course, we had to, we would have to zoom in here to see more details because the categorical variables hold quite a lot of categories here in this data set. Then we get more information about distribution, whether the numeric variables are sort of normally distributed. We get the QQ plots. Um, then we get correlations, so really a lot of information from this very little effort. In this case, we have a lot of categorical variables, so to make more sense of the correlations, we could have excluded the categorical variables. But still, this can be a quick overview about which variables are strongly correlated or not so strongly correlated. And we see by the colors positive and negative correlations. So a quick overview in this way, this visual impression of correlations. And then we even get a PCA, a principal components analysis um, this may or may not be so useful depending on your use cases. 
um, if you have more numeric variables and maybe items that are strongly correlated, then um, the PCA may be more useful than in this case where we have lots of categorical variables. Um, and if we wanted, we could dive into more detail um, what characterizes each of the components that were found here. So this is the last part of the report. So we see that we get a lot of information about our data set from just one line of code to quickly uh, make ourselves more familiar with the data. So that was the key function create report and we just pass it the data argument. In this case, I just called the data set data. So when we pass the data set here to get this report. Of course, you can customize, and um, it's not the only function in the package, of course. So for example, this network plot, um, we can access individually using the plot underscore str function. So I apply that here to the full data set um, to include these nested lists. And now you see um, how this is visualized here. Um, there are a lot of categories, so it's hard to read, but you see it has got this mouse over feature, so I can check in more detail what the variables are here. So we get the key variables that we already saw about the Star Wars um, characters. And now I see also something about the lists. We have a list of 87 that contains the films. We also have a list for the vehicles and we have a list for the starships. And I can here move to the right to see more aspects of this list. Um, but the variables here are just denoted with x. So this is not too useful here, but um, still I get um, I get a chance to zoom in on, on the information. So I can use that just a simple one-liner plot underscore str to get this interactive network visualization. Also, it is possible to adjust settings. So for example, here um, I want to change the plot theme. Um, it's well documented, so you can find that in the documentation for the package, um, how to do that, configure report, um, and you can change the plot theme. So here I'm using a theme from the GG Themes package, the theme Wall Street Journal, and I increase the font size. We saw previously in the report that the font was quite small and hard to read, so I increase the font size here, change the theme, and also I want to exclude the principal components analysis from the report because with all the categorical variables we had, it was not too useful. So I can specify this configuration, assigning it to an object config and using the configure report function to do these settings. I do that and then I can run the create report function again. Um, the first argument being the data again and then passing the config object that holds the configuration that I defined in the previous step. So you see in the console again how the markdown report is running through. It's finished quite quickly and now we can skim over it. It's got the same information as before, but now we have a different plot theme, um, theme Wall Street Journal, a larger font size, and um, we get the same information as before, missing data profile, the distributions, um, the QQ plot, the correlation meter, and we do not get the principal components analysis here because I deliberately excluded that from the report using this add plot PR comp parameter and setting it to false. Right, so these are the key functions. Um, you can find out more about the package um, by typing help package equals data explorer. Um, and then you can get a look at all the functions that are there. There are a number of plot underscore functions that um, create different parts of this report. There's an introduce function and a plot intro function for introductory statistics and then the other parts of the report are also um, put into functions so you can access them all individually like we did um, with this plot str function um, that I used here before to get the network plot for the nested lists. Um, we can also see that um, there's a description, so we have the package order here, Boxer and Kui, I'm not sure if I pronounced the name well, um, and also we see there's a nice vignette introduction to Data Explorer that shows us in more detail how to use the key functions here. The data that is used is from the New York City Flights 13 package, um, and there are lots of examples how to use the package. So it's really a powerful tool, especially when you're short on time to explore data, you can use this automated 
report. The key function is create report. I hope you find that useful and it will help you save time in exploring data. Um, all the best. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Have fun using R and see you next time. Ciao.